Welcome to the Media Unit 1 Exam Podcast. Today we talk about genre. Genres tend to have a lot of repetition of media language and narrative, according to Steve Neal, especially the Western genre. For example, in the Western 310 to Yuma, 2007, we see typical locations like the Wild West, desert, saloons, and small Western towns. Mixed with cowboys, horses, and a sheriff, lawmen. There are outlaws robbing a stagecoach. These genre codes and conventions are also repeated in the video game Red Dead Redemption for the Nintendo Switch, 2023, where we see cowboys robbing a train in the desert, in the Wild West. Stealing money is a recurring narrative in the Western the genre. Every Western cowboy character wields a revolver slash six shooter and engage in a shootout. Genres can also take the unorthodox route by subverting expectations of their genre. For example, Westworld, 1971, borrows aspects of science fiction into the Western genre. In the film, set in the future, a Wild West theme park inhabits robots that act like Western archetypes, the sheriff, the outlaw, the prostitute to please human visitors. All goes wrong when they turn on their creators. The film keeps aspects of the Western genre such as shootouts and saloons but integrates futuristic sci-fi into the narrative with robots, becoming sentient, turning on their human masters. A Million Ways to Die in the West directed by Seth MacFarlane, is a Western that subverts our expectations by borrowing from the comedy genre, the film features a lot of gross-out comedy. This is unusual for Westerns by having lots of modern-day swearing, humor and comedic deaths. The film subverts the expectations of the typical Western genre to give audiences something new and unexpected, to hopefully attract audiences and increase box office revenues. Another genre which has clear expectations in the media is zombies. This sub-genre of horror has repetition seen in both Night of the Living Dead, 1968, and the television drama The Walking Dead. These include conventions such as zombies being the reanimated corpses of humans who have recently died. Zombies move slowly, stumbling towards their victims, and are resistant to pain or injury, yet they can be killed by injury to the brain or decapitation. The Walking Dead was different at the time because it was the first long-form television narrative to feature zombies. The film Warm Bodies offers new pleasures from the zombie genre by borrowing from the rom-com, the main character is not a human but a zombie who falls in love with a human. His narrative arc is winning the girl but also saving humans from another threat. The zombie antagonist becomes the protagonist. This gives cinematic audiences a fresh take on the genre and should appeal to both male and female audiences increasing box office revenue. Finally Red Dead Redemption combined the western with the zombie genre with an expansion pack called Undead Nightmare. Cowboys are now trying to survive against hordes of zombies. This allows the game developers to expand the life of the game and more revenue. In conclusion producers will repeat genre conventions to satisfy audiences, but to keep genres fresh they will borrow from other genres and subvert expectations. So audiences do not get bored of the genre and producers can continue to generate profit.